Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to phase two of Art Place at Fort Totten. I'm Jane Kafritz, and I am here on behalf of the Morris and Gwendolyn Kafritz Foundation. I'm here on behalf of my husband, Calvin, and behalf of our board members, of whom some are here today. Over the next three years, our team will ha help transition this ground into a dynamic destination for living, working, and playing, which will have crossroads for the community, for creativity, and for art. And now I'd like to take just a moment to thank our great team, many of whom are with us today. First, I'd like to thank our contractor, L.F. Jennings. Thank you so much. And our wonderful design team at Perkins Eastman in Shanghai Studio. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And of course, our wonderful, talented team at CCE. Thank you all so much. I'd like to thank our neighbor, Mayor Muriel Bowser, who will join us shortly, the Deputy Mayor for Planning and Economic Development, John Falciccio, our DC Council members, Janice Lewis George and Kenyon McDuffie. Thank you, thank you. Our ANC commissioners, Gordon Andrew Fletcher, okay. Ronnie Edwards, Yay. LaRoya Huff, thank you, and Allison Brooks. Special thank you to Lamont Riggs Citizens Association members. <laughs> Barbara Rogers, Vakita Wiggins, Gwen Cofield, and Tisha Cockrell, and our very special community members, Euchenna Evans, Gavin Baker, Deborah Grimstead. David Kosich, and Robert Oliver. Thank you all. We at the Foundation are so proud to be supporting this development because of the benefits Art Place will bring to the community when it is completed in 2025. We estimate that $1.7 billion in economic impact will be created by this project for the city and this community. And we estimate that over 7,000 jobs across all of the phases of Art Place will be created here. And with that in mind, I wanted to give you a few of the highlights to expect in phase two of Art Place. We are going to put the art in Art Place. And for the foundation, it's all about creating spaces that allow art to come to life. We are going to have a performance space that will have world-class performers along with community performers. We're going to have a very large food collective that will have multiple cuisines and cultures and flavor represented 
that will dazzle anybody's taste buds. We're going to have an experiential retail venue so that any visitor will be able to walk through and experience a unique adventure. And we're going to have the hub of the Explore Children's Museum here that will welcome children and families who want to be awed and the experience will create curiosity and creativity for everyone. In addition, we are very proud to announce that we will have our anchor, the Aldi Supermarket. It will be the largest Aldi in the DC area. In addition to the Aldi, we'll have another 27,000 square feet of retail space. At the full build-out of this project of Art Place, we will have nearly 2 million feet, square feet, of multifamily, retail, cultural, art, and public entertainment spaces. Of course, that 2 million feet includes the modern in back of me with its 520 residential units and its retail that wraps around South Dakota Avenue. And we are pleased to say our most recent retailer, the One Life Fitness Club, has opened recently. And if you haven't been there, please take a look. It's quite spectacular. In addition to the fitness center, we have the Love and Care Development Center, the Ramdas Pharmacy, T-Mobile, DMV Urgent Care Center, Shining Star Pediatric Dentistry. And in addition to the modern, we are happy to host two public charter schools on our campus here. We have the Rocket Ship Public Charter and the Social Justice Public Charter, which when enrollment is completed in several years, we will have 800 students right here on campus. So we look forward to watching phase two develop over the next few years and we will be excited to share more about what's happening ahead in the coming months. And before I turn things over to our next speaker, Councilman Kenya McDuffie, I want us all just to take a moment to look around at this large piece of ground and imagine a dynamic destination that is full of activity and excitement and we hope it will be a fantastic place for those who choose to live at Art Place and those who come to Art Place to experience the many activities that we will provide. And with that, it is my honor to turn the podium over to Council Kenyon McDuffie. Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, man, it's, uh, the sun has gone down. It's not as warm as it was this morning. Uh, but I know we've got a little bit more energy than that. We are in Wonderful War 5. Good afternoon, everyone. There we go. This is a great occasion to be here. Uh, and I am so delighted to join Jane and everybody associated with the Capers Foundation. Uh, Madam Mayor Muriel Bowser is here. Uh, Commissioner Fletcher, Commissioner Huff. Commissioner McDuffie, and all the wonderful civic leaders who pour so much into this community. Let's give them all a round of applause, please. I'm excited to represent War 5 at a time when we are seeing these types of economic development projects happen in our community. 
Uh, this is just yet another wonderful example of what can happen when you have uh, the private sector, you have the government, you have our civic leaders all coming together with a common purpose to make sure that we improve the lives of the folks who live in these neighborhoods while at the same time creating jobs, thousands of jobs uh, as well. Uh, this is going to be residential, it's going to be retail, and it's going to feed uh, all the things that we've been trying to do in these communities for so long. The mayor has a very bold and important goal of creating 36,000 housing units and 12,000 affordable, and this is another project that's going to help us achieve that goal. Let's give her a round of applause for that goal. It's also important because of what Jane just mentioned about the Audi that's coming. Uh, we know how important trying to tackle food insecurity is in the District of Columbia. And while this isn't in a community that's experiencing it, it right now, making sure that we work with our development partners, making sure that we work with the CAPES Foundation and that the council and the executive and our ANC commissioners and civic leadership are bringing these types of important community serving amenities is absolutely why these types of economic development uh, programs and projects are essential to our neighborhood. And so I want to thank the Capers Foundation. I want to thank all the folks who are a part of this wonderful development for making this groundbreaking happen today. And I look forward to digging in deep and shoveling some dirt. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Thank you, Councilman. And now it is my great honor to introduce our distinguished mayor, our neighbor, Mayor Muriel Bowser. Thank you. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, I am delighted to be here. I'm uh, proud and happy to see so many wonderful uh, faces here. Thank you, Councilmember McDuffie, uh, for your kind words. I, I too want to thank the ANC commissioners who are here, uh, Commissioner Fletcher, Commissioner LaRoya Huff, Commissioner Allison Brooks, Commissioner McDuffie, uh, all the ANC commissioners. Please give them a big round of applause. I also want to recognize the leadership of the Lamont Riggs Citizens Association. Please give President Barbara Rogers and all of the leadership team a big round of applause. I want to thank Gwen Cofield and the Lamont Riggs Development Task Force for all of their work um, in, in getting to where we are today. Uh, sometimes, and the council member and Jane and all of Lamar Riggs leadership will appreciate what I'm about to say now. Sometimes we arrive at the groundbreaking or the ribbon cutting and we forgot the 18 years of work that it took to get here. Uh, but as I uh, come to this intersection, a community that I lived in for 16 years, I'm reminded uh, of all of the hard work that neighbors said, we want quality grocery, we want quality retail, we want great parks, uh, we want safe connections to the metro, uh, and we want to transform our neighborhood on our own terms. And more than that, we want to continue to build quality housing and housing where people um, of all income levels and backgrounds can afford to live. Uh, and I was, I had the occasion to be with Commissioner Brooks, well, virtually, I guess, uh, and Commissioner Huff on a call talking about all that we uh, had done together in this community. And I congratulated them um, because, Jane, uh, here at Art Place, uh, once the library is finished and the Aldi moves in, uh, the vision of the Lamont Riggs Development Task Force will be complete. Uh, and that has uh, been 18 years uh, in the making. So I wasn't mayor then, I wasn't council member then, but I was ANC Commissioner Muriel Bowser. And I, I'm just so proud of what we've been able to do here. So we know we'll have art, we'll have housing, we'll have schools, and a children's museum. 
and what the work that has gone into transforming uh, this area from closing down. Remember that speed ramp, Gwen? Closing down two speed ramps, adding housing, 300 jobs at Walmart, you, you, you name it. We've been able to do it. And this should be a model, a model across Washington, D.C. When neighbors work together to demand what they want, that's what they get. And then when we have partners like the K. Fritz Foundation, who's been at this longer, and we remember all of our neighbors who lived here before, and it was so important to us that we had a product that, that was developed here that they could be proud and also live in. Uh, and that is, uh, that is what we aim to deliver. So on behalf of 700,000 Washingtonians, on behalf of all the War Five residents, you, you will permit me that, right, Kenyon? Congratulations. And now, thank you, Mayor Bowser, for those great remarks. I am totally delighted to invite ANC Commissioner Gordon Andrew Fletcher to come to the podium. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. I think just like Councilmember McDuffie said, we could do a little better than that. Hello, everyone. Hello. Okay, okay, good, good, good. This is a, a momentous and amazing day to be right here in ANC 5808. Um, I have the privilege of serving as the three-term ANC commissioner for this neighborhood. Uh, this is a great day. It's an exciting day. Uh, I want to say first to Jane K. Fritz and to your entire team at the Cavers Foundations, Congratulations on this. Round of applause to you. Uh, next, I want to make sure I recognize and say thank you to our fearless mayor, Mayor Bowser, for your steadfast leadership to all residents of Washington, D.C., especially those here in Ward 5, and as you've so safely navigated all of us through the pandemic, and you continue to do so. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Next, I want to make sure that we acknowledge our Ward 5 Council Member, Kenya McDuffie, for his support, for his support throughout this neighborhood, this community, especially the residents of ANC 5A, that's led by Chairman Ronnie Edwards, and ANC 5A08 regarding this project. Thank you, Council Member McDuffie. The groundbreaking of our place at Fort Todd and Phase B is a culmination of efforts from many stakeholders in our community. North Michigan Park Civic Association, being led by Carmen Williams, the Lamont Ridge Citizens Association, being led by Chairwoman Barbara Rogers and her amazing team, ANC 5A, again, as I said, stated earlier, led by Ronnie Edwards, we've all worked together for the betterment of our community, together. I'm glad to see so many residents from Riggs Plaza Apartments here today. I remember doing my first term as an ANC commissioner, I work closely with Ms. Sherry. How you doing, DC mom? <laughs> with Ms. Sherry, uh, Ms. Gibbs, and so many others as we safely and successfully relocated many from Riggs Plaza Apartments to the modern. We want to ensure no displacement, and that's what we did regarding that. I remember so many evenings working, the, working with the Lamont Riggs Real Estate Task Force working with them, making sure that this project was the best that it could be for all residents and that we held everyone accountable every step of the way. I'm glad to know that I've been able to work with Sean Cahill, Paul Tummins, Mark Rugalinsi, and so many other individuals that are part of the KFRITS team. They always answer the call. Anytime we ask them to attend civic association meetings, single member district meetings, ANC meetings, you are always there. That's what community partnership is about. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, everyone here that continuously supports the community. Now, this meeting, this event, is all about our community. We're going to have a performance center here where we will be able to bring so many individuals.
also make sure that we had a grocery store two years ago. Us here together, this community, we fought to stop the opening of a liquor store. Why? Because we recognize that we do not need any more liquor stores in our community. What do we need? We need fresh produce. We need grocery stores. That's why thank you so much, Jane and your team, for bringing the largest Aldi right here in Ward 5. Now, this next journey is ours together to do. We will do this together as a community because this is a special community. We will work together day in and day out to make sure that we realize of the next phase of this development for all members of our community, from younger residents to young families to older residents. Thank you all so much, and I'm proud to serve as your ANC Commissioner for 5808. Thank you all. Now return to our previously scheduled program, already in progress.